Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Pro Acoustics Tech Talk. I'm Nathan. And I'm Colton. And we are back. Uh, gonna dive into a question we get quite a bit, which is, bit. I've bought a new Crown CDI series amplifier, 1,000, mm -hmm. 2,000, 4,000. Uh, um, how do I get this thing to do what I want it to? Yep. We're gonna show you how. All right, Nathan, so teach me how to navigate this guy. So many people are asking us how, um, and I know if you're watching this video and you clicked on it, you need to know how too. So kind of guide me through how to, how to do this and that. Um, and yeah, show us, show us what the deal is. Yeah, you got it. So um, first things first, the Crown CDI series of amplifiers can be programmed either via the front panel to a degree get a lot of the important steps, yeah. but not all of them. Not all of them no. uh, you do have the option of a USB port on the back on the where back you here. can connect this to a laptop uh, to dial it in via uh, Harman's Audio Architect software. Cool. Um, I believe you'll find that link somewhere on our site, mm -hmm. um, or you can find that by searching for Audio Architect as well. Um, and there is an in-depth video already out there on the market that shows you how to um, hook, it up, hook up the software, sure. the steps to go through. Uh, not doing that today. Nope. I'm going to talk to you about the front panel because like Colton knows, we normally got guys whose, whose feet are to the fire and yep. need to get something done quick. So your guys. Here yeah. You go. So first things first, you know, you connect your speakers, you connect your inputs from your, uh, from your mixer, yep. um, connect your DSP processor if you have yep. it. And then you go ahead and you fire it up. There you go. Push the button in well enough to where it turns on. <laughs> there you go. All right. From there. The default message you're going to see is says DSP off. That is basically the landing screen. That is basically preset zero where um, you know things start off. Uh, yep. It's important to note um, you can't save or store over DSP off. So you're going to have to change you to a different to program. Yeah. Uh, I am following a menu tree, which is in the manual, yep. um, which basically goes through a number of steps of how to program your amplifier here. I would highly recommend anybody watching this that's going to be programming a CDI 1000, have that page in the manual open, have mm -hmm. this menu tree in front of you. Uh, it's a little bit complicated because there's a lot of steps, yeah. uh, but when you go through this, you'll be able to, through a combination of pushing the select and the next button, mm -hmm. make your selections to change the amplifier to do what you need it to. Uh, some of the things that we're going to at least just quickly yeah. show is uh, how to put your amplifier in 70 volt sure. mode, yep. how to change the input modes. Uh, whether or not you're going to add a crossover, whether or not you're going to turn on the EQ or not. Mm -hmm. uh, note, if you want to change the EQ, got to use the software. Yep, got it. Uh, also adding delay, limiting, and if you're going to run it bridged or stereo, um, and then from there you can store that preset. Um, so presets, you can do multiple presets. Um, if you've got a preset for football versus uh, soccer, you know, yep. if you need to have EQ adjustments or anything like that. Cool. So. All of this revolves around the three buttons on the front. Uh, the first is select or enter, where you basically make your selection. Previous uh, or up is next, which basically is how you cycle forward or cycle to the next option. Mm -hmm. And then next or down, which is how to change to the, uh, to the next unit, mm -hmm. uh, to the next page. So I'm gonna kick it off. I hit select, now it says preset. I wanna go next to yes. a different preset. Now it says config. I'm going to go ahead and hit select to config. And then channel one, low Z. If I want 70 volt, I'm going to hit next to change it to high Z. See how I switch back and forth between those just to uh, uh, make my selection. If I'm good with that, I hit enter. Now I'm on channel two. You'll see there it's flashing over here on what my mm -hmm. 70 volt settings are. And uh, just for grins, I'm going to stop for a second. What you guys are going to find is that it defaults back to DSP off if I stop moving. Yeah. I mean this with the utmost sincerity. <laughs> Try not to get frustrated when yes. programming this yes. amplifier. Yeah. It, it can be a little strenuous, but yeah. once you get the hang of it, no problem. Once yep. again, it's the breeze. menu tree form is key. So to kind of give you an example once again of how easy this can be once you get the hang of it, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in 70 volt. Put channel two in 70 volt. I'm going to go ahead and go to channel one plus channel two because I want my system in mono with all systems. 
Uh, I don't have a crossover, so I'm going to turn that off. I don't have any Q right now, so I'm going to keep that off. I don't have any delay, so I'm advancing forward. Uh, limiter, I'm going to go ahead and turn on a limiter because I don't trust Colton sometimes <laughs> on uh, when he gets behind a mixer. Yep. So I'm going to put it on uh, the most conservative, the minus 12 dB setting on both channels. And I'm going to run that in stereo. And I've, voila, I've made my setting. You made it. Um, I didn't store it because I don't feel like at the moment going through and typing everything yeah. out there. Uh, but basically, once you follow all those steps and you get to the end, you can go through and select to store on different numbers, pick your favorite number of where you want it, mm -hmm. back up your file in case somebody gets in, you know, in a school environment sure. and starts messing with it. Mm -hmm. uh, but basically, going through those simple steps and following the, uh, the select and the next button mm -hmm. configuration with this menu tree, uh, can be very basic, very mm -hmm. simple, unlock some really powerful but simple to use DSP from the front panel. Absolutely. Once again, if you need anything more complicated, yeah. bring out your laptop, bring out your PC, get it mm -hmm. configured to dial in things like high pass filters for yeah. uh, paging horns mm -hmm. um, or uh, more in depth crossover settings right. for subwoofers yeah. um, and also setting input compression and yeah. things like that as yeah. well. Um, if we can help you with uh, your audio system, either with help you get an amplifier right. or help with um, anything else you might need, feel free to reach out to us. Phone mm -hmm. number is 888-256-4112, right. uh, www.proacousticsusa.com. Mm -hmm. You can chat with us there. You can shoot us an email. Um, and basically just let us know what we can do to help out. Yeah. Until next time, I'm Colton. I'm Nathan. See you. Thank you.